Hey, Cappy. Cappy Capricorn, what's going on? What's up? It's nice to see you guys. I'm here to do your June 2018 monthly reading for the sign of Capricorn. So what's going on, Capricorn? How are you living? How are you feeling? What's going on? All right, my Cappies. I got something that flipped out. We have the four cup. What's the matter, Capricorn? What you thinking about? You sitting under a tree reading a book? You by yourself? Mm, think about money. Thinking about an offer that was made. Somebody giving you something. Ooh, a lot of air. I mean, a lot of earth energy. Six of Pentacles. Definitely feeling generous. A lot of money. A lot of money. People giving you stuff. A lot of money. Okay. All right. Could be dealing with someone trying to offer you something. Somebody trying to offer you something? Yeah, tell me somebody definitely trying to offer you something. Oh, we have the two of cups. All right. The knight of swords. Possibly an air sign rushing into you to offer you something. It could be an air sign, but definitely cups and um money. Somebody's off. I see somebody giving you money. A lot of money this month for uh, Capricorn. I need to go find a Capricorn. <laughs> Somebody's giving you money. Like, I see people giving you money. You might be getting a gift of gold, possibly. Possibly. But definitely, definitely money. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces. You are definitely slow to the quick on someone that's giving you or giving you an offer. Someone's trying to offer you something and they are like trying to offer you the D. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Pisces could be coming in trying to give you something. Could have a relationship with a Pisces or a fire sign or an air sign. Capricorn. Ooh. Or you have your back turned to a Pisces. But a, a air sign is definitely rushing in to give you something. Ooh, yes, Capricorn. Okay. Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. I mean, Six of Wands and the overall energy. Definitely dealing with a fire sign, Capricorn. So you got a lot of um, money this month. I see Pentacles everywhere. You got the Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. I see money. Um, you are in your head thinking about an offer, possibly thinking about a, a relationship with someone, a Pisces, because the Pisces is right under it. Or you're also getting an offer from an air sign. Now, possibly, here's what could be happening. I just saw something. You possibly could have a relationship with the Pisces. A Pisces probably proposing to you. I see a Pisces or a Leo because I just saw the Leo above. Also, I'm getting someone that has Scorpio in their chart because I saw the sign Ophicaius, which I don't even like talking about that sign, but I definitely saw Ophicaius. And I know Ophicaius is in the... Uh, the realm of that Scorpio. I think somebody has Scorpio in their chart, whoever this is you're dealing with, but it could be a water sign. Um, I'm definitely getting Pisces or a fire sign. Could be a Pisces with fire in their chart. But I see you committing to a Capricorn. I mean, I see you committing to a Pisces, Capricorn, or you know, or an air sign. Oh, no, 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 no. I got to say it exactly how I see it. I see you committing to this Pisces. Or this Pisces offering you engagement or offering you a relationship. They're giving you this cup right here. I want you to be mine. Like you see how you um, are holding the cup with both hands, but the person has their hand extended out to you. So I feel like someone's coming in to give you this, but an air sign is coming in like, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're going to accept somebody's offer. I just can't tell whose it is though. Because at the end, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Like, you're going to have all this money. Let's see all this money raining down on you and the family and the dogs and stuff and your parent or a grandparent. You got all this money raining around y'all in the house. And it's like, you victory. You take somebody's offer. But who? I don't know who. Yeah. Somebody like, this air not going to get wind of you even getting married or this person proposing. This air not coming in with that knife. Like, <laughs> no, you're not about to take my Capricorn. I could feel it. Possibly fire in their chart. Yeah, they come in and give you an offer. You're in your head about it at the beginning of the month, but towards the end, the end of the month, you want it to, to July, you're going to make a decision. Um, Let me get, uh, let me see. What do I want to get? <sighs> let me get two cards for the two of cups. Let's see two of cups for Capricorn, June 2019. You definitely got an air sign that's objecting to this union. Speak now, whoever, but I, up. Uh, there you go. Uh, Air sign is objecting to this union. So
So three cards came out. A lot of money this month, Capricorn. You got the Ace of Pentacles that came out again and the Ten of Pentacles. This is definitely, definitely indicative of a lot of money this month. I don't know if y'all guys getting a settlement or something. But somebody's coming to get your offer and it's money. But however, the shadow side came out, which if some of you don't know, is a devil card. This is some type of toxic energy. And I feel like it may be dealing with the air sign. Flip it how you want to flip. It could be the, the Pisces that's a toxic energy. I don't know. But the devil came out with these two. So I feel like there is money surrounding someone. You, it could be a money man that's offering, like a guy with a lot of money is offering you a, a new start. He wants to give you money, wants to take care of you. And whoever this air sign is, it could be the toxic energy is coming in to stop it. But the devil, the devil... AKA the shadow card, AKA the devil card came out with it. So it's possible. Let me get two cards for the knight of swords. What is going on with this knight of swords? I got a feeling that this air sign person is a toxic human being. That's what I get Capricorn. I'm not trying to be funny. Page of swords came out for they immature. They immature as hell. Yeah, they immature as hell. Don't, don't. You know your situation. I could be clarifying it incorrectly. It possibly could be someone in with air in their chart. But I get that this air sign is immature as hell. And they're coming in. Even though this card came out with the, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles with clarifying the Two of Cups, I feel like this devil card is attached to that air sign. I could be wrong. But let me get one more card for the Nine of Swords. Capricorn, I am starving. I gotta go eat. Oh, I just needed to get y'all reading out because I was like, I, I gotta do Capricorn reading. One more card for the night. Nice what is going on with this? Yeah, this night of swords is immature as hell, man. They immature as hell. Four pinnacles, they holding on to you. They trying to hold on to you and they being stingy. Like, here go more pinnacles. I'm telling you, Capricorn, you got a hell of a lot of money coming. I don't know if you got some type of settlement coming. Y'all going to win a lottery. Some Capricorns, please play the lottery. Play something. Because all that's been coming out during this reading is pinnacles. Every, like, just look. You just see money everywhere. Money is everywhere, all over. And then you got the six of wands at the end. Please play the lottery or something. Some Capricorn getting some money. Um, Let me get two cards for the six of wands and the ten of pinnacles. Let me see what's going on with this. But I get the feeling, don't, this, this, I feel like this air sign, whoever this is, is rushing in. Now that you're getting committed to whoever this person is, is rushing in just because, oh, it's mine. I don't want nobody to have it. No, 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 no. That's not how this shit works. Excuse my French. That's not how this works. They immature as hell. So I got the three cards for the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. You got the Page of Pentacles. Again, money, like money. You could be having a new start with a Sagittarius because the fire sign energy came out. Knight of Wands came out. So you could have a new start with a Aries or Sagittarius. Or you could be having like very calm. Like when you make this decision, you're going to make the decision for the new start. So whoever this air sign is coming in to try to stop this, it looks like you're not having it. So you're going to choose the victory and the happiness overall with this new start. So this air sign is coming in. You ain't beat because all that I see right here is new energy, small. It's like this is a baby page, princess, fool, new start, new beginning. You got that ace of wands. So it looks like you're going to take this from this fire sign. It looks like that's what it looks like. You're going to take the new start with the fire sign. Or the Pisces, or the Pisces with fire in their chart, or vice versa. But, and you're gonna be very calm about this, possibly Sagittarius. You're gonna be very calm about it. Could be a Pisces with a Sagittarius rising too. But you're, you're gonna be very calm about this. You're not gonna choose whoever this dumbass air sign is trying to come in. Possibly somebody, uh, could be a fire sign with air in their chart, or Pisces with uh, fire in their chart, or air in their chart. Um, oh, goodness. It, it's like, ignore that person, because they dumb as hell. They're going to try to start something. They're going to try to start a fight. Don't let that person come in and do it. Whoever it is, it's very simple with this. Whoever this is to try to come in and ruin this situation that's rushing in to ruin this commitment that you have starting with this new person. And I think this new person is going to bring money. You got a new job coming in, got a lot of money coming in, but they're trying to like make it rain on you, like trying to give you money. And they want a family with you. They want to start. But this air sign is being very immature, very ignorant and ignore it. You're going to choose the new start. You're not stupid. You know you know what you're going to do. But now this air sign going to come in and like, oh no, now I want to do right. Capricorn, move on. 
pretty much. And at the end of the deck, we got the four of wands. That's that's self-explanatory to me. That's very self-explanatory. Nine of cups. And then you got wish fulfillment under it. So you got the four card, the four heart on wands, wish fulfillment. <coughs> you got the <coughs> You got the king of swords right under that, but then I feel like the moon is right behind it with the sun. So, and then you got the six of, six of swords. So, two of cups. I feel like what this is telling me, you could possibly have successful. No, nope. don't choose that air sign because then to me it's like the moon is right behind the um. No. You know who to choose, Capricorn. Like I'm kind of reading this. I think you know what to do, but I feel like. Do not, don't, don't think about that cup. Like this person is going to come in in the beginning of the month, offering you this cup. And then towards the middle of the month, you're going to accept it. You're going to take it. And that air sign going to come in like, no, no, it's mine. Don't do it. Move on. Have your new start. If you do, I feel like it's going to go right back to like, say for instance, you do, right? You get your wish fulfillment with the air, the air sign, right? Depression right after it. Now, this could easily mean that the that there's a good, bright future ahead if you choose the Pisces, the moon card. But that also could mean that you have the moon, the sun, and the moon with this person, with this air sign. Like, you choose the air sign. You get your wish fulfillment with the air sign. The air sign come in acting right, right? You got the sun and the moon. And then end up, guess what end up? Walking away. Two of cups, five of swords. It's like it's a back and forth energy. I feel like if you do go with this air sign, whoever this is... They ain't going to do nothing but go back to the same bull. And I think you know that. I feel like you know that. Could be someone with air in a chart. But you know what this means to interpret. And when I looked at the... When you contemplate in this cup and you finally accept this cup from whoever this is, I feel like it's a Pisces man. And I clarified it. Like, even with the toxic devil card, the shadow side coming out, I feel like it has to do with this air sign. And who wants somebody that wants to wait until you have somebody... Then want to do right. To me, that's like, you don't want me. You just want to have me, to possess me because now somebody else got me. Capricorn, be happy, y'all. Like, be happy. I'm praying for whoever this is for that they come out clean and they are happy that this is what's going to happen anyway. I'm praying that this is manifested for all people, this message is for, for all those who see it and who don't. The, you got the victory with a Ten of Pentacles happy situation, but don't let this air sign come in and try to, whether this person is with air and they chart, come in and try to ruin whatever you have with this possible fire sign, a possible water sign, possible Pisces. Don't let them come in and ruin this. Don't, they had their chance before whoever this is trying to rush in and come like, no, wait, don't, don't let them do that. And I think you're smart enough to know that, you know, go ahead and have your happiness. You're getting this person for a reason. You know what I mean? So Thank you so much for watching Capricorn. I love all you guys. I'm looking forward to seeing you all mid-monthlies in June and going in towards July for your reading. Thank you so much, guys. And it's such a pleasure and a blessing. You guys take care. Be blessed. Good blessings, good energy, good positivity. Thank you so much. Have a great one. Bye.